What's it up, baby? Y'all didn't know it is the big boss house. Boss dog, K poke through the door. Here to talk this box. So what's good with y'all boys, man? Your boy in here, man. Just pulled up to the gym. Your boy knows a little stuffy, man. But, you know, hey, it is what it is. We don't, we don't make no excuses. We don't no smoke. We get to it. Action speak louder than words is going to be the title of this video. Okay. We finna debunk what Bud Crawford was talking about as it pertains to him saying that PBC and Errol Spence didn't want the fight, and that's why he ended up going to fight David Avenesian. Now, a lot of the time, a lot of y'all, especially y'all Crawfish fans, y'all Bud Buddies, y'all tend to just go off with this nigga saying, and we go off actions over here. I look at your actions. I don't look at what you're saying. You know what I mean? We could use what you said against you. Like, like, like I'm about to do. But your actions speak louder than what your words say. All right? So when you look at Terrence Crawford in this situation, right? He sat there and said that Earl Spence and PBC didn't want the fight more than he did. Right? So that was his decision to move on. Okay? But you moved on in the last closing minutes of, you know, this fight game, this fight, my bad, getting signed. You was in the fourth quarter. Y'all was down home stretch, down home plate. All you had to do was sign your part. And you was good. And you go over here and fight David Avenesian, which means you've been looking to fight David Avenesian. Like, you, y'all already been talking to them, you know? Another prime example I could give you is when Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder was in negotiations again to fight after the first fight. Deontay Wilder said, I ain't heard nothing from Tyson Fury. And then, boom, Tyson Fury signed with top rank and then... He go fight like two or two or three more fights, you know, on ESPN in the top ring, and then he fights Deontay Wilder. You know what I mean? Bud Crawford gets quiet, and they'll spit to them like, man, we ain't even heard from them, bro. And then boom. David Avenish versus Terrence Crawford. If Terrence Crawford feel like PBC didn't want him to fight Errol. If he felt like Errol Spence didn't want the fight, why did you even negotiate with him? So that's how you know it's, it's cap. You're not going to waste your time if you know a fighter don't want to fight you. You know what I'm saying? So that's strike one. Strike two. The, the, the selection of David Avenesian goes to show you that like I been saying, he ain't been fighting nobody. Terrence Crawford had all year to fight a fighter like David Avenesian if he wanted to, which is a tune-up. He could have fought David Avenesian in January, February, March, April, when Earl Spence was fighting. May, June, July, August, September. You know what I'm saying? He could have fought him way before that. But he chooses now. And David Avenesian had a fight schedule. And, you know, it was Bud Buddy saying when his first one was reported, go check his box rip. They talk about David Avenesian. And I told y'all, I said, huh. I said, yeah, David Avenesian scheduled to fight somebody else. I said, but it can't be overridden. <clears throat> what that means is like, for example, Andre Berto, when he... Andre Berto, the time he fought Floyd, before that, Andre Berto was scheduled to fight somebody else, and Floyd said, I want to fight Berto. And they canceled that other fight. They canceled that other fight so Berto can fight Floyd. You see what I'm saying? So, like I keep saying, you know what I mean? Act, but, you know, Bud want to sit there and go ahead and fight a fighter like David Avenesian. He didn't go fight Stanley Onis. He didn't go uh, look at 
boots, which y'all go check out why some sports media. Rob Costa was like, hey, you could have called us. We not signed a PBC. We signed a Showtime. But we'll go over there and fight if we need to. You know what I'm saying? And it's just like, that wasn't even a thought. They went straight for David Amnesia. There's a reason why they did that. There's a reason. Because Terrence don't want to fight no tough fights. There's a reason. And let me explain something to you. You have to pay attention. Terrence Crawford's only been fighting once a year for the past couple of years. Why is that? Why is Terrence Crawford fighting once a year? He not fighting no major names. He not fighting no names that's like giving him major paydays and stuff like that. You know what I mean? The past couple of years, he ain't been fighting nobody. You know what I mean? So he fought Amir Khan that time. Amir Khan made more money than him. And Tess Croft was a champion. Right? So it, it, it's, it's not like he getting bread. You know what I mean? He getting like a little three million dollars, two and a half, but it's guaranteed money. That's the difference. He ain't getting no major paydays where he get five, six, seven million. He getting like two and a half, three million. But he's not getting those major paydays where he like, man, I can fight once a year and I'm good. No. It's just he getting that guaranteed money. But once they take the taxes out of that. And once he disperses it amongst his team, how much is he really pocketing? That's the question. So I sit here and say, I don't believe money was an issue. But didn't believe L. Spitz. No, I'm going to say this. Bud is used to being the boogeyman, right? Until he came across somebody else that's better than him. And I'm talking about Errol Spence. He came across Errol and was like, mm, this nigga locked in. I'm like, this nigga really want to fight me, bro. Because he used to he used to people being afraid of him. You know what I mean? Errol ain't, <laughs> ain't afraid of you. L put it, L almost lost his life. L fighting killers. Like, L, L is doing, L is fighting the right way, just as a boxer. He fighting the right way. He ain't playing no games. He ain't doing no politics. He fighting the right way. He giving the fans what they want. What is Bud doing? Bud giving the fans what they want? Bud don't give a damn about the fans. Bud give a damn about Bud. That's it. All y'all sitting here advocating for him, Bud care about Bud. Bud don't care about no fans. You know what I'm saying? I been telling y'all this. He don't care about his legacy. He care about money. He care about Bud. That's it. L. Spitz gave us the fights that we wanted. He was trying to give us another fight that we wanted. He came and really made, he said he having problems at 147. He killing himself to make 147, but he doing it for the fans. Now, Bud talk about after he whooped David Avenesian, he's going to go ahead and um go whoop on Errol. David Avenesian is not going to prepare you for Errol Spence. I'm sorry. It's, it's not going to happen. He's not going to. And if you think, oh, I'm going to fight David Avedish because he has a similar style to L. <laughs> I'm telling you, Bud going to get his ass whooped. <laughs> I'm telling you this. If you if you pick David Avedish, because there's a reason why they picked him. They either picked him because they don't want Bud to be in no tough fight. And, you know, they kind of want him to get a little easy win so he can look indestructible. Because it's all a tactic. Canelo do this. Canelo fight somebody who's not on his level, but they hype the opponent up so he can beat them. You know what I mean? 
and look indestructible. Like he's like he's Superman. And that's what they try to do with Bud. Bud for to destroy uh, Avadesia. I, it's not even going to be close. It's not even going to be a good fight. We already know what's going to happen. This fight is not going to prepare you for error. I'm, I'm sorry. It's just not. You know? And, and like I told y'all, if I'm error, I don't work with Bud Crawford. I don't. His old promoter even came out and said, Bud is unprofessional to the point where he would Bob Brett wasn't even working with Bud no more. He 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 said, Hey, son in law, you deal with this nigga. I don't want to deal with this nigga. This nigga unprofessional. He don't know how to do business. So like I keep saying, man, at the end of the day, actions speak louder than words. Look at this nigga's actions. Look what he was look what he did. Does this look like he he did this look like Errol Spence was ducking him. Do this look like that? I keep telling y'all. I told y'all this before. Actions speak louder than words. This nigga Bud's decisions has shown me that Bud never truly had the intentions to fight Errol. And I'm telling you, he gonna knock out Avanesia. And then they gonna be like, Bud, who you wanna fight next? You gonna fight Errol? He gonna be like, yeah, Errol, I'll cover the belt and make sure you don't run this time. He gonna say some bullshit like that. And then, you know, but we all know the real. We all know the truth. You know what I'm saying? We all know the truth. That's just that's just facts. That nigga, Bud Crawford, ducked that boy. <coughs> all of y'all Die Hard Crawfish, Bud Crawford fans and Bud Buddies made videos talking about El Spence's Duncan. Then this nigga say the opposite of what y'all said. Then he said again. But then his actions <laughs> show y'all this time that he, he don't want to fight El. That's nothing nobody can say, bro. You can't defend that. That nigga ducked that nigga. He ducked everything. He didn't want no smoke with Errol Spence. That's just what it is. Then he talking about, oh, you know, he going to whoop Errol and go fight Jamal Charlo. Jamel Charlo, let me tell you something. Errol Spence, if Bud Crawford is successful against Errol Spence, which I definitely think that's he's not going to be. But if he is, he going to retire after that. His body is going to be beat up. His body gonna be beat up. His body gonna be beat up. I, I, he not gonna be able to beat Errol and then go fight Jamel Charlo. It's not happening. Jamel Charlo knocking niggas out twice his size. What you gonna think he gonna do to little Terrence Crawford who get hit a lot? Bug all of a sudden turn to Floyd Mayweather? Answer, this, answer that question. Bug gonna turn to Floyd Mayweather? Cause that's the only way he gonna beat Jamel Charlo is if he turned the book if he turned the Floyd Mayweather. That's the only way. If he turned the Floyd, if he start being slick in there, but that ain't Bud game. That ain't how Bud fight. Tell him, man. And then Bud throws a lot of looping punches. You talk about against Charlo, who was strong, big. I'm telling you, I'm going to tell you what this going to be like. It's going to be another Jamel Charlo versus uh, Charles Hatley. That's how the knockout going to be. I'm telling you, if, <laughs> if Bud gets past Errol, let's just say hypothetically, let's play to y'all game. Bud get past Errol. And go to 154 and fight Jamel Charlo. It's going to be Charlo versus Hatley. And how Charlo knocked out Hatley. That's how it's going to be. You saw how small Hatley was compared to Charlo. That power is getting to cuz. The boy's doing the stanky leg, man. You know, Hatley from Dallas. So, you know, that boy's doing the stanky leg and all that. You know what I'm saying? 
but y'all let me know what y'all think, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Actually, speak a lot of the words. If you're new to my channel, like, comment, hate, and subscribe. We'll run from no smoke. Balls gone.